last full day of my trip here in Japan and today I'm stopping by the Goldfish Cafe here in Tokyo. It was quite a ways from my hotel so I took a cab, a taxi. This is what you see when you first walk up. And then there's the Kinyo sign. There's a little cafe where you can go into and I think they serve food and coffee. This is so awesome. I actually had no idea about this place that it even existed, but my friend Amy that I met online through our mutual goldfish obsession recommended this place to me and I'm so glad she did. So shout out to Amy. And they have some goldfish and koi in here. I guess in this part they're like pole fishing for the fish. I don't really understand that. Maybe they're just feeding them. My friend is going to be meeting me here. He lives also in Tokyo. My hotel's in Tokyo, but my hotel is really far from where he lives. So instead of like meeting up and then coming here, we're just going to meet up here. And uh, he's going to take a little bit longer to get here than I did. So I'm going to look around before he gets here and show you guys around. Look at that. Those are so neat. Oh my gosh, I love this. I think the bowls are for sale. They're beautiful too. I would love to have one of these. Look at that bowl. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love this bowl. Look at that. Wow. Wow. It's so cool, you guys. There's some fish in aquariums. Oh my gosh, here's some babies. Look at those. Baby goldfish. So cute. Oh my gosh, look at these. It looks like you put airline tubing in here. And then that, it blows bubbles out of its mouth maybe. I think maybe these fish are for sale too. Look at those, so cute. Oh, so cute. Hi guys. These are some beautiful bright reds on these Ryukins. Oh my gosh, there's like a crayfish in there. How creepy. <laughs> some beautiful Arandas. Love it. Some Celestials. And then there's some little black Ranchu mixed in there too. Some telescopes. Not a lot of butterfly telescopes here. That I've, I haven't seen a single butterfly telescope in this entire trip, actually. And I've been to quite a few goldfish places, so that's interesting. Ooh, some yellow comets. Cute little bubble eye. Some tiny arandas. Oh my gosh, there's like little shrimp in there. And there's more, it just keeps going and going. Check this out, I think these are baby axolotls in here. Well, maybe not, maybe they're just like baby newts of some kind. Here's some red and white comets, or sarasa comets. I actually see some, some ick spots on these guys, so that's kind of sad. Oh my gosh, look at that one. That yellow and white comet, that's beautiful. Some little yellow comets. There's some ick spots on these guys too. That's too bad. This trough on the ground here looks like it's for King Yosuke, which is like a goldfish scoop game. Looks like these are used scoops. But you take the scoop and you try to scoop them up and the net is really, really thin. So you have to try to scoop them up before the net breaks. What a cool place. I'm so glad I was able to come here. I can't believe the TV crew didn't take me here, actually. This is one of the places that I told them about that I would like to visit if I went to Japan. But maybe they couldn't work it out with like getting this place to agree to film here or something. I would love to have that banner. I wonder if they're selling those. So many cool things. Oh, here's some baby run shoes. And then some panda telescopes and black telescopes. Oh, hi, Shabunkins. Some calico ranchus. I wonder where they get all of these goldfish from to sell. 
Oh, there's some, looks like Jeekins. That one is really interesting. That one looks like it might be an Izumo Nankin. It's a really, really old variety of goldfish that is almost not even bred anymore at all. It looks just like one. Lots more red cap orandos. <laughs> looks like someone bought one. It's getting bagged up right now. Oh my gosh, look at that. Tons of fish back here. Tons. I'm going up in this area that has all the fish out in bins to see what else there is. Oh, there's some pearl scales. Some of the nicest high quality goldfish that I've seen but um, even though that's the case this is just so cool like to see this many of them all in one place at one time and this many different varieties what a cool experience I would have to say that out of all the goldfish that I've seen on this trip it's the bubble eyes honestly that have caught my eye the most they're just they have really nice bubble eye goldfish here. And the bubbles aren't too huge. Like I've seen some where the bubbles are, each bubble is like almost the size of a fish's body. But I don't really like it when they're like that because I feel like they can't, I don't know. In my personal opinion, I almost feel like they can't swim as well. And also it looks weird. Like I feel like it looks unbalanced. But with smaller bubbles like these ones, I just think it's so much cuter. Look at that one. I really like that one. It has a nice body shape. Ooh, that one's nice too, but its bubbles are asymmetric. I could honestly stand out here and look for hours, I think, but there's a little shop inside too, so I wanna go check it out and see what they have. What's this? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It almost looks like a little care guide. Oh, look at these. Oh my gosh, you guys know I have to get me some of these. Looks like in this store, it's mostly like care things that you would need to care for your goldfish. Like there's goldfish food, goldfish bowls, which we all know that they shouldn't be kept in. Oh, what's this? No way. And then they also have like filters. Looks like mostly sponge filters. Oh, some culling nets. Some aquariums, which are all too small. <laughs> This is really pretty too. Wow, this is gorgeous. I think inside it's the restaurant or cafe, but it looks like they also have a little gift shop area in the front.
finally met up with my friend here at the Goldfish Cafe. And uh, we sat down in there and had some tea for a little bit. It's very nice. Everything was like goldfish decorations. So like the little coasters to set your glasses on were uh, cloth and they had little goldfish designs on them. It was so cute. They also have little chopsticks holders that were like little goldfish figurines. So it was really cool. Like just so cool. Like everything in the cafe was really goldfish oriented and you really don't see that anywhere else. So I was like in goldfish heaven for a little bit there. And then also look at this. The top windows up there um, on the top half circle part there's like a little I think it's an etched um, design and it was a Tosakan goldfish which was so pretty. And now it's getting dark out already. The fish are all coming up, like they want to be fed. So much fun, I love this place. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming with me on this little goldfish adventure. I sure had fun, like I've never seen anywhere even close to this in the United States, so what a cool experience. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay gold. <laughs>